with so. the horse trainer. No, with the Saroma. Oh, well, with the Saroma. <laughs> the yeah. injury, original injury in the kid. So, Alice, <laughs> who do we <laughs> yes. have here? Okay, me. Yeah. All right, well, when the colt was um, just two, he suffered a kick, mm -hmm. which resulted in a huge seratoma about the size at least of a basketball. Yeah. And when we had that lanced, we thought he healed up nicely. And so into his second year, because he was a big colt, my husband broke, started to break him. Mm -hmm. And really, my husband, I would put him up against any colt man in the country when he was younger. Mm -hmm. Now I have a second opinion, but the colt blew up as he started to go downhill and, and dumped my husband big time. Okay and um then we couldn't trust the colt we worked and worked and he buck and buck and mm -hmm. so finally it dawned on me that maybe he was suffering pain okay and i worked on trying to heal him with the electromagnetic blanket and, and lights and mm -hmm. things like that and then i decided that i would just ride him bareback for a while so the saddles wouldn't hurt him or anything mm -hmm. and the problem was he was so afraid and so anxious he would shy and spin out from under me i couldn't yeah. stay on him yeah so then <laughs> last summer i decided i'd find a good colt man who could stay on him and break him for me mm. and that man abused him severely good thing we, we dissed him for emotional trauma oh then my god yes yeah. you can ask jean she was here when the colt came home he was starved down he oh. was hurting he had checked out emotionally yeah and so we're bringing him back with the jean's doing something to him to the uh to where he's you can work with him now you know and, Great. and i'm getting his trust back and stuff yeah. and then kimberly came along with her wonderful discs <laughs> and we're gonna see if we can't reclaim this colt once and for all yes for sure um, it, an interesting thing, um, you know, pretty much he had the, that big abscess uh, in his uh, right rear haunch there and so went in after that um, on both sides of the hip to get the blood circulation going, um, some glutathione and carnosine with that and of course the anti-inflammatory, the P200, anti-stress and P-9. Uh, did a little bit of 130 to 1 on the lower gut where we could get stickers to stick. Um, emotional stress over the kidneys and an anti-stress there on the temple because that's what his little body wanted, his big body. And he seems a whole lot more active and alert than when we started. Uh, this is Jonathan here. Jonathan has been assisting. Jonathan, what did you notice? Uh, as he processed this? Um, yeah, he was walking around processing for maybe about 10 minutes, and he came around that side. Also, I felt a big energy rush from him. Mm -hmm. I was way far away from him. It hit me, and they smoothed out. Yeah. His gait, especially the right rear and right front, like both smoothed out, and he started putting weight on them more evenly, and then he, suddenly to me, it felt like he just went, oh, this is feeling pretty damn yeah. good. And he started moving better. Great. Yeah. Anyway. Everything, everything integrated, and yeah, he's a he's a whole lot uh, more frisky and uh, interactive than he was when I first oh, showed yeah. up. He was he was really? very aloof, huh. and almost didn't didn't want me around him. No, that was that's that checked out part.